everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different type of video and as you guys been requesting as people are asking me how to replace, how to fix your SD card reader for your Mavic 2 Pro or fix your sync button because the sync button is really weak so if you want to replace the sync button or if you messed up your SD card, micro SD card reader, or if you want to replace the sensors or the LED lights at the bottom. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix those, how to replace them really easy. Let's get into it. First thing first, open the legs for the drone. Next, remove the cover for the protective lens. Alright, what we want to do here, we want to remove few silicons inside. If yours doesn't have, don't worry about it, but some they might. What the company does is they put a silicone right on top of the screws so the screws won't come out easy and some of the refurbished ones they don't do it so you can just stick something sharp and remove the plastic thing you can just melt any type of plastic or just hot glue so remove those plastics from every screw on the bottom You're not going to use the same plastic, so you can trash them. And once you remove those, you want to remove any SD card that you have in there. Remove the flap for the other side. You want to remove the two screw on the front, and you're going to remove the plastic cover right here. Alright, to remove the plastic cover, pull out a little bit, and then there's a clips right in here and right on the other side. You have to pull them apart. There. And the other one, you're just going to push the whole thing towards that side. This is, these are the clips I'm talking about. You don't want to break these two clips. Nothing will happen, but you don't want to break anything. Alright, next, you want to remove the four screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, I mean. 6 screw that touches this um, aluminum cover at the bottom. Just to let you know this aluminum cover at the bottom, its only purpose is for heat sink, it's for the LED lights, it's not for cooling down the drone. Some people say no, it has a nice cooling because it has an aluminum chassis at the bottom. That's not true. This aluminum cover is going to only cool down the LEDs because they generate lots of heat. It does absorb a little bit of heat from the plane, from the drone, but not that much. So once you remove the screw, lift it up to the, towards the SD side, tilt it towards the SD side, so there's a connector right at the bottom. Right, before you do any of those, I forgot to let you guys know, remove the battery. Obviously, you can do it with the battery on. I have done it, nothing happened. But for the sake of this video, remove the battery. Next, you want to remove this clip right here. Just lift up the clip, just like that. And there's some glue right on the adhesive right on top side. So don't worry about that. So these are the motherboard controller on the other side of this there's a processor heat sink and there's a fan and the fan sucks in air from the front and blows in from the back side so the cooling happens on the other side none of this part over here touches the aluminum cover right here so the only thing that touches this aluminum cover is this board right here on this board we have the sync button and sd card reader and then leds so we're gonna put the drone to one side all right here now we're gonna remove a few screws we're gonna remove the screw right here all the round ones and once you remove the screws there's a cover to hold the ribbon cable in place you can also remove it. Just lift up. Next, you can go ahead and lift up the motherboard. Be gentle because there's a thermal pads here around the LEDs. 
Uh, these are the, what they transfer the heat to the aluminum sheet. So this one, as soon as they get hot, the heat transfers to the aluminum cover on the bottom. I'm not sure if this is aluminum or what kind of metal it is. Not aluminum. So yeah. Anyway. So down here, we have the sink button right there. If you want to replace it. If you want to replace this sink button is right here, there's a four joints, you have to solder in. If you push too much, you break the joint, push it in place and do a four point joint soldering and you're set to go. And if you want to replace your SD card reader, you have to heat up the whole plate from the bottom side, remove this cushion right here and just replace it. Or you can just make it easy, order the part, there's a part number at the bottom. Just order the part and replace the whole thing. Those are for those people that don't know how to do any soldering. So you can see it's pretty easy and forward. You put it back together, make sure the cushions for thermal pads for the LEDs are in the right place. Put it down. Push it down, put the four screws on the side, alright now you want to grab the ribbon cable and just align it, I can't see it. Once it's aligned, you can go ahead now put the SD card in and close the plastics right in there. It doesn't bother you. Now you can go ahead and put the cover to the bracket. Screw in the bracket. And the sensors are easy, same with two clamps each on each, you can just remove them, there's two, one screw on each, two screw on each, so those are the sensors if you want to remove. If you're not getting a good reception, the antenna is right there. So yeah, now you're going to put it in this position, put the lock for the card reader. Push it down evenly and close the that just push down. Now you're gonna put the screws in. Make sure you do not mix the bottom screw with the top cover screw. Do not tighten up the screws yet, just put them in. And at the end, you're just going to do another pass to tighten up the screws. And if you want to put the silicone right on top, grab some hot glue and drop some hot glue right in there. It does the job. Now grab the front cover. Stick the bottom corner, any of those you want to do this way or that way, doesn't matter. Just stick it right in there. Push it down. Make sure this one goes in place too. There. Now you can put the two last screws. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, any comments, you know where to leave them. And I appreciate your feedback. And if you click that like button, it really helps out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys.